So here is the problem. We have a jar here with various uh, marbles in them. Now specifically inside this jar, there are five red marbles, three blue marbles, and eight white marbles. And the question is, what is the chances of picking one red marble? So let's say you get to put your hand in here and pick one marble. Okay, what's the chances? or probability of you picking a uh, one red marble. So if you think you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. And, and of course, I'm gonna walk through the solution step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. Again, um, we are talking about probability. So the original question is, what are the chances of something happening? Anytime we're asking questions like, hey, what's the chances of uh, rain this afternoon, right? Well, another word that's synonymous, you know, that we can exchange for the word chances is probability. What's the probability of rain? What's the chances of it raining? That type of thing. So we're dealing with probability. Now, probability is a type of mathematics, okay? And what are we trying to do here? Well, we're trying to make predictions. And, you know, probability is a big, big topic in math. So you should know at least some real basic concepts about probability. The first is probability is measure, measured between zero and one, technically speaking. But really, we measure things. We like to express probability in percent. So uh, anywhere from 0% to 100%. So let's go back to our question about rain. What is the chances of rain this afternoon? Zero percent, right? Or 100 percent. So if you said zero percent, it's absolutely not going to happen. If you said 100 percent, it's 100 percent guaranteed it's going to happen. And of course, everything else between just gives us some sort of uh, prediction on you know the, the odds, the chances of something occurring. Okay, so uh, there's a lot to know about probability, but this particular problem is a very, very basic introduction to probability. Okay, so with that being said, what we wanna do is find the probability of red, of us selecting one red, and one way we can write that in terms of uh, notation, mathematical notation, is this, we can write this little P here like that, that's probability of red, okay? So we wanna know what's the probability of this event happening. Okay, so we're talking about the probability of an event that we, uh, you know, like, you know, we put our hands in inside the jar and we grab this red uh, marble, or maybe we grab this red marble or this one, right? But of course, if we put our uh, hands into the jar and we're just grabbing one marble, we could grab a blue, we can grab a white. There's other uh, things that could happen, right? But specifically, what's the probability of red? Well, we're going to have to want to know the basic definition of probability. Okay, so this is a, a nice, kind of easy to understand, hopefully, uh, way of uh, defining probability. Now, there's more formal ways to define it, but effectively, they say the same thing. So the probability of an event occurring, okay, is the number of ways that event could happen, okay, over, over the, uh, or divided by the total number of outcomes. So let's go back to our jar here, right? So... You're going to stick your hand in, you're going to grab one marble. So how many different ways could you get a red marble? Well, we got one way. We could get this red, right? You could have grabbed this red or that one there. That's one, two, there's three, there's four, there's five. So you know, grabbing a red marble could have happened in five different ways, right? So the number of ways, uh, the probability of red occurring, well, there's five ways, right? Because there's five marbles, uh, individual marbles you could have grabbed. But what's the total number of outcomes? Well, how many marbles in to uh, total do we have? Well, five and three is eight, plus eight, eight, eight is 16. Okay, there's 16 uh, total marbles in here. So that's the total number of outcomes, all right? So uh, we have five reds over 16 total, right? So here we have a fraction five over 16. But again, most of us are familiar with um, probability in terms of it being expressed um, in terms of a percent. Okay, so how do we change 5 into 16 into a percent? Well, just take 5 divided by 16. We get the decimal, 
point uh, three one two five, right? So you know this would be the correct uh, correct version of the answer. Okay, let's just say this much: if you uh, answered five over sixteen or point three one two five, I also would have to give you a nice little happy face. But for those of you that took it to the next level and gave me this as a percent, you get an A plus. All right, there's nothing wrong with these answers, but again, we're more um, used to seeing probability expressed as a percent. So how do I change a decimal to a percent? Well, uh, uh, pretty easy. All we need to do is move that decimal point over two places to the right or multiply by 100, and you end up with 31.25%. Okay, so probability is a huge topic and a very important topic. Uh, you know, it's you know, if you just like, you know, uh, watch the news or, you know, read the newspaper or any information, you know, or, you know, you watch sports and whatnot, they're always talking about probability of this, probability of that, even the weather, right? So, you know, anytime you see probability or the percent symbol, okay, it's a good, you know, it's a good idea to have some idea of what's going on. But if you really want to get into probability and learn it, uh, you're definitely going to have to know some algebra and kind of build up to it, right? Uh, so probability is different than statistics. If you were just wondering, like, hey, is probability and statistics uh, uh, different? Yes, they are, but they're also kind of common as well. Nevertheless, if you want to learn some basic probability, and it's pretty advanced probability, as you know, I'm gonna say advanced, but more than what I'm uh, covered right here, check out my Algebra One or Algebra Two courses. I go over more probability there, and I do have additional probability videos on my YouTube channel as well. But if this particular video helps you out, or if you found it interesting in small, uh, some small, tiny way, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.